Hi everybody, this is Leonard. Okay, we are going to remove a portion of this adapter on the Steyrpook engine to a Fiat transmission. And the reason is the original manifolds that were on the Pook engine interfere with this part right here. And so I'm going to remove this piece here, which I've already done. And then you actually have to cut this thing on an angle so that when you put the Steyr Pook manifold on or a high performance manifold or whatever you want to use uh, it's going to fit. Now Steyr Pook made a correct manifold for this but they're impossible to find and they're terribly expensive so what I'm going to do on here is set this manifold on so you have an idea I got it backwards. There's part of it. And the other part. With one hand. Okay. So when you get it, that's what the Steyr Pook manifold looks looks like. With that adapter cut out of the way. And you have to cut it to about six thousandths to eight thousandths clearance and without gaskets on the manifold. You tighten the manifold down until it clears and barely if you look underneath here you can see some daylight but actually it's only about eight thousandths is the way I like to put them. So that that means you can run the Steyrpook adapter to the Fiat transmission with a normal Steyrpook intake and carburetor assembly or a high performance one and you're going to need that clearance you see how close that thing is man it's just like and uh, structurally it doesn't hurt the the uh, adapter the way it's hooked up uh, doesn't weaken it you're just going to be missing one bolt which is this one right here you have to do it uh, the later pook adapters that are hard to find some of them didn't have this raised portion on it and that's normally where a Fiat uh, starter motor is. So the way Pook made these is with the side starter motor, with this adapter on here, and with the special intake manifold that crouched it still, it actually was more in and had more twist to it and and uh, ruined the performance on them. So by by then they were they were done making uh, starter Pook engines with the Fiat transmissions anyhow. And I think they only made them for like one or two years. That's it. I thought you'd enjoy this, and uh, and the way it's cut, I'm going to take this thing off one more time, so you get a good look at what that thing looks like. And you just uh, you can cut it with the saber saw, and you get in there with a hand file and and start filing away until you get it to the point where when you tighten the manifold on there, you've got about eight thousandths clearance, and then when you build your motor, you're going to put intake gaskets on, and that's going to raise it up even further. So I like to, uh, these manifolds, if you're going to run them, uh, sometimes they, they, since that's a cast piece on there, it could vary, uh, you, can, you can see how, it, how it's physically made. That's aluminum casting over the steel. And, um, and physically, I don't think they're all the same. They're, they are they're going to fluctuate a little bit in, in size. It's just kind of a sand cast the way they're made. And I thought I'm going to set this down. Okay, this is my mock-up engine. And uh, this baby's ready to go. Got the new throw-up bearing and the and, uh, way it's set up. It's perfect. So I had to do a little uh, minor adjustments on the throw-up bearing itself to get it to sit back nice. So the time you get a spring on there to pull this thing back a little bit, that's what it's going to look like. And it's about the perfect angle. Um, I'm, I'm real happy with the way it turned out. That's it for now. Ciao.